it's that time of year where we look at that wonderful story of Christmas. Who's opened their advent calendar or has one? Okay, I have one and I have been enjoying them every day. Um, and I have an advent candle as well, which I light every night and just be still and just kind of remember the Christmas story. So over the next couple of weeks, that is what we're going to do. And we're gonna look at some of the characters that are in the story. And today we are thinking of the amazing woman, Mary. And she was such a young woman with such big and exciting plans. We are going to play a game now. Now I wonder whether you've ever played Simon Says. Well, this is a little bit different where I am gonna say Mother Says. Okay, so if I say Mother Says, then you have to do the action. If I miss that bit out, then it means you have to do five star jumps. Okay, so if I says, mother says, touch your head, you all need to touch your head. Okay, put your hands by your side. But if I just say, touch your head, no, 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 you don't do that, because mother did not say that. Okay, so I would have to do five star jumps. Okay, are we ready? I think we are. Okay, mother says, put your hands on your head. Mother says, put your hands on your shoulders. Mother says, put your hands on your knees. Mother says, put your hands on your toes. Put your hands on your knees. Oh, did I get some of you out to do five star jumps? If you did, don't worry, do the five star jumps and then you can come back into the game. Okay, here we go again. Mother says, twitch your nose, like wiggle it. I'm not very good at it. Okay, wiggle your ears. Oh, mother didn't say. Mother didn't say. But don't worry, five star jumps, then you're back in. Okay, mother says, wiggle your ears. Mother says, stick out your tongue. Mother says, show us your best smile. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful smile. Okay, mother says, put your hands on your shoulders. Mother says, put your hands on your head. Mother says, put your hands on your knees. Show us your best smile. Oh, you are out if you copied me. Okay, mother did not say. No, she did not. So five star jumps to get back into the game. Okay, I think you are ready. Here we go. Okay, mother says, jump on the spots as high as you possibly can. Oh, there are some very, very high jumpers. Okay, mother says, run on the spot as fast as you can. Ooh, well done, well done. Jump as high as you can. Ooh, mother did not say that, mother did not say. Okay, five star jumps to get back in. And here we go, this is the last one. And I reckon you are going to be epic. Okay, mother says, wiggle your hips. Mother says touch your nose, mother says wiggle your ears, mother says put your hands on your head, mother says put your hands on your shoulders, mother says put your hands on your knees, mother says put your hands on your toes, put your hands on your knees. Oh, I think I may have got some of you out, but do not fear, five star jumps, all will be well. Okay, and today, of course, we are looking at Mary, okay, Mary who is the mother of Jesus. Now I have a question for you to think about and have a discussion with the people in the room. Now this is one where you really, really need to think really, really hard, but I reckon that you can do this. Now put your hand up if you've ever had big plans for something. 
yes I have this could be a party this could be going out somewhere this could be seeing friends but only to find that things didn't quite turn out as you expected okay what was that and how did that make you feel okay have a little think that was a very deep question there okay so what didn't turn out quite so well as you expected and how did this make you feel okay have a discussion with the people in the room I know for me that one of the things that I didn't expect is how Christmas is going to be this year it's going to be a little bit different and for me, how I feel is that it's going to be a bit weird, but that's okay. That is okay. It's still going to be an amazing Christmas, but it's just going to be a little bit weird. That's how I feel. Okay, so there is my answer to those questions. Now I'm so excited to hear of the first Christmas and today we are meeting a very special lady which is Mary. Now before we hear from Mary, she said to me that you need to get something to help her. Okay, so she said could you get a pair of sunglasses? Okay, so I'm gonna pause this video and then you need to grab a pair of sunglasses. So, three, two, one, sunglasses, go. Now, I hope you have found your sunglasses. And Mary has said to me that whenever a pair of sunglasses just appears on her face, you have to put your sunglasses on. And when those sunglasses disappear, you have to take those sunglasses off. Now, do you think you can do that? Now, if you don't have a pair of sunglasses, that is fine. What you can do is you can use your fingers like this, okay? So if all of a sudden the sunglasses appear, you can do this, okay? And then when they disappear, boom, okay? So let's meet. Hi there, my name is Mary and I've been asked to share about the first Christmas. Well one day I was cleaning the house like I always do and all of a sudden an angel appeared. His name was Gabriel and he shone so bright. I've never seen an angel before and I was really scared but Gabriel said do not be afraid you are so special to God you will become pregnant with the son of God and give birth to him and you will call him Jesus God with us but I said, I, I don't know how this can be. Like, I'm not even married. Like, I'm engaged to Joseph, who is an amazing guy. But how can this be? And Gabriel said, with God, all things are possible. Now, I know that to be true. And this, this was never my plan. I didn't think that God would choose me. So all I could do was tell God how much I loved him. I thanked him for choosing me. And I said that I trust you in all of this, though I'm still quite scared. And I was willing to do what he had asked me to do. But hopefully I won't be needing these anytime soon. Now Mary one day was just dreaming of Mary and Joseph and settling down. Then the next day, out of the blue, an angel appears and tells her that God has something 
she never could have imagined in store for her. That very, very soon she'd be carrying a special baby sent by God. I mean, it would be hard to explain to Joseph and those closest to her. And they might not understand. They might turn their back on her. And even if they stood by her, wow, what an enormous responsibility. Now, of course, we know the end of the story. It's why we celebrate Christmas. This baby, Jesus, God's greatest gift he's ever given us. Sent so that we can have a friendship with him forever. But Mary didn't know that. At that moment in time, she was filled with awe and wonder and a lot of questions. It took a lot of courage for her to say yes to say those wonderful words which are may it happen to me as you have said this certainly wasn't something that she imagined or expected but she chose to trust God every step of the way now this Christmas isn't what we expected or imagined it's a little bit different but I want you to know that just like Mary God was with her every step of the way God is with you every step of the way and just because Christmas is a little bit different doesn't mean that we shouldn't celebrate Christmas because Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus, the greatest gift that was ever, ever given to us so that we can be God's forever friend. So I am very, very thankful that Mary said yes. So for our craft, for the next couple of weeks is going to be creating the characters that we have met. Now this can be done through paper, can be done through cards, can be done through wooden spoons, uh, but I've got some little um, wooden dolly pegs, I think that's what they're called, and I'm gonna decorate them. And as the weeks go on, I'm going to add them around my advent candle so that when I sit there and see the candle burning down and spend time with God, I can remember how amazing Mary is by her simply saying yes to God's amazing plan. So I hope that you join me in this um, little challenge, should we say. So we're gonna finish our session by praying together. And prayer is just chatting to God, like we would chat to um, our friends, okay? Because God can be our forever friend if we say yes to him, just like Mary did. Now, at the end of a prayer, I say a funny word, which is amen, which means, I agree, well done. So if you agree, what I say, I want you to shout, amen. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes so I don't get distracted by what's in the room or the people in it. God, I thank you that you're amazing. I thank you that you are awesome. And I thank you for the epic lady of Mary and how her simple answer of yes and her obedience to you in your plan means that baby Jesus came to this earth. The greatest gift you could ever give us so that we can be your forever friend. Amen. Now I wonder 
which characters we're we going to meet next week. But until then, I hope you have a great time making uh, your model of Mary and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.